in this video we're going to take a look at the uh, assembly of your TC7 kit for the first time. These are all of the components that you'll have once you've unpacked from the bag. Uh, one of the main items is the mini DVR recorder and camera. Uh, it comes with its battery packed separately inside the top uh, pocket. The battery will be fully charged. To install the battery, push and slide the back cover off. Align the connectors in the battery cradle and slide into place. There is a plastic tab on the battery to enable you to take it in the night easily. Once the battery is in place, click the, uh, the back cover back on just the way you took off the uh, original one. Uh, that's your DVR ready to use. Uh, the other items that you have here are a shower protector to use if it's uh, there's wet weather, USB lead for connecting to a PC and for charging, and the AV leads for uh, showing on a TV or a uh, presentation screen. Uh, so let's just have a quick look at the, the camera itself. Take off the end cap, uh, slide out the camera. This is the camera head on a flexible section at the top. And uh, to put the lens up and down, what you have to do is in a vertical position, push each section up and twist and lock. You need to twist reasonably firmly uh, just to hold in place. If it slides down on you, you haven't twisted it enough. Uh, when you're putting the pull back down, it's the reverse procedure. When you come to a join, twist at the unlock. Uh, don't bash the end of the pull on the ground or you can damage the lens. And when you're putting the camera itself back inside, put the rubber cap over first just to protect and align it and slide back into place. So that's, uh, that's how you put it up and take it down. Connecting it to the mini DVR is fairly simple. There's a jack lead on the end of the wiring loom which plugs into the AVN slot. Uh, the on off button is on the top of the mini DVR right beside the micro SD card slot. Uh, the micro SD card comes installed and it's 4 gigabyte card comes with your unit which will record for about two and a half hours. If you need a bigger card, you can buy separate ones that go up to 32 gigabyte to give you extended time. Uh, the on off button, point to note, is you have to press it down firmly and hold it down for 10 seconds. Uh, if you do that, the screen will light up with our Lancelab logo and the blue light will come on at the side. And if you've got the jack lead connected, you will see a picture appearing on the screen. Uh, I'm not going to go into recording and taking photographs and using the software and the menus in this video because we're covering that separately in another session. Uh, I just want to show the basic setup. So that, that's the camera connected up to your wiring loom. You know how to put it up and down. Uh, when you're charging or transferring data to the computer, you use the USB lead which comes with the unit. There is a socket that it plugs into on the side of the mini DVR. Standard USB connection for your PC on the other end. And as I said, it is used for charging and for data transfer. To charge a completely, ba completely flat battery um, would take about two and a half hours. But uh, as I say, you can top them up uh, at much shorter times than that. And what I would say, it's also worth taking the battery out of the unit and storing it in the top pocket when the unit's not in use. Uh, this will keep the charge within your battery. So that's the USB lead. Uh, the AV lead that we have here plugs into the AV out socket. The other ends go into a standard TV. You can also use this for if you're doing a projection or a presentation that it can plug into that equipment as well. There's a shark proof uh, protector that comes with your units. Uh, it's just a matter of simply popping it inside and sealing over the top of the case. This lets the wire come out. There's a lanyard for hanging over your neck and you can still use all of the functions and buttons through the plastic that are unaffected. Uh, full details of everything are in the manual. We also have the website where there are a lot more videos similar to the one you're watching. And uh, one final point worth noting is that the kit also comes with a uh, mini torch. Uh, if you're using in industrial warehouses and surveying around dark areas where 
we need some uh, additional light. A little torch comes with it, it's again charges off USB, plugs in and uh, 10 or 15 minutes of charge will get you a couple of hours of use out of the, the, the mini torch. There is a rubber holder which attaches it and you simply slide the rubber holder over it, push the torch in and it uh, stays in place and you twist the end to turn on and off. Again there's a full instruction sheet with that. So that uh, covers all of the basic assembly that you need for the Lancelot TC7 and uh, everything else in more detail in terms of programming, maintenance, repairs and servicing are covered in separate sessions.